All right, what's going on guys? My name is Jason Wojo. Welcome to the channel. If you are new, subscribe, like, and comment down below your thoughts on the new Facebook iOS 14 update and what you think this is doing to the platform. Before I get into this topic, if you guys are obviously new, you can check out my Instagram in the description down below. Um, I just hit 50K followers, so thank you guys all for the support and I'm gonna be posting more consistent content on here. Looking forward to educating all of you entrepreneurs and business owners and internet marketers out there on you know Facebook tips, entrepreneurship topics, all that kind of stuff. So recently Forbes put out a new article on the new Facebook iOS 14 update that is actually worrying a lot of advertisers because for the longest time, you know, if you're new to the Facebook advertising game, all of our data has been tracked on a 28 day, you know, attribution model. And what that allows us to do is for those 28 days that we're running ads to our campaigns and our ad sets, we're able to use that 28 day data and move it forward. So if you're running ads and you turn off your ads for 14 days, because maybe you're trying to restructure your business, whatever the case may be, you turn them off for, you can still use 14 days of that data to actually be able to scale further and turn them back on and still get effective results. I recently had a client who had problems with suppliers because of the Chinese New Year, and they were not able to you know, use that 28 day attribution anymore because of the iOS 14 update, they waited 31 days for a supplier and we turned her campaigns off for 28 days. So now I had to reset her whole entire campaigns, every single one of them start from the lower budgets and now we have to scale back. And you know, I'm gonna get more into this and, and who this is really gonna affect. But you know, with this new article that just came out, you know, Forbes basically reveals that you know Apple is making the tracking, you know, opt-in only, which is gonna hurt a lot of your retargeting campaigns. But still, Facebook still has data from their previous use. So this might affect your current pixel, your retargeting ads, you know, but nothing like your Instagram account, you know, custom audiences, your Facebook account, custom audiences, you know, video views. The only thing this is really might affect is the actual website events that people are taking within your pixel. And I haven't seen a huge difference with this because of the following reasons though. And this is why you should not be worrying about this iOS 14 update. If you're an agency owner like myself, or you're a business owner running ads on Facebook, as long as you stay compliant, you get a verified business manager and you have a good offer, your ads will sell themselves. And this is where we're really gonna see a, a big differential in companies that succeed on Facebook ads and companies that are completely gonna have to pivot, you know, figure their business model out somewhere else. And a lot of people in my circle are going to Google ads, YouTube, you know, native platforms like Yahoo Genesis and, you know, Taboola, things that are, have more broader data and at scale, but obviously not as much data as Facebook to get quick conversions. You know, if you can scale on YouTube, your business can last a while and it's actually very difficult for business owners to figure out YouTube because of the video nuances and you know obviously a higher cost on some campaigns. And the other changes that iOS 14 is making is that it is affecting Facebook's audience network placement. So when you're in Facebook and you're going through your ad set, you can select audience network as a placement and that really allows you to hone in on your customer a lot. And that's why most of my clients, when I first onboard them or I'm currently running ads and they don't have a crazy amount of data, you know, they haven't spent, you know, spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. We're usually using automatic placements because you never know where your customer could be and you never wanna miss out because you think that Facebook is better or Instagram is better. An audience network is a great nourishment point or a foundation for the success of your Facebook ads and for you know just data collection in general with your Facebook pixel and the ad performance that your Facebook ads are getting. And as we can all tell, Apple is obviously bringing out new nuances that are focusing their users on privacy because of all the things that you know Zuckerberg has went through and like he was in court a couple of, I believe about a year ago for all these privacy issues, data breaches and all these things for its current users. But what people don't understand is that when you're a user on Facebook and you accept those terms and conditions that nobody reads, you're accepting that Facebook can, you know, obviously resell your data or use it for business owners to acquire more customers. And this is gonna affect a lot of small business owners because a lot of small businesses, they have a certain amount of reach that they can make in a 10, 15 mile radius. And if ad costs go up, that's gonna affect the way that small businesses get leads, traffic, reach, engagement, you know, messages, different objectives within the Facebook ad platform that are gonna affect their performance. Now, you're probably wondering, what effects am I seeing within my clients? And 
The biggest thing, it's all about having to watch your ads closer, okay? Watching them not just in a three-day time frame, but in a one to two-day time frame. Keeping good data collection using, you know, Wicked Reports or Hyros, you know, data collection apps and softwares that allow you to basically bypass Facebook's, you know, shitty firing of their Facebook pixel and collect better aggregated data. Um, it also allows you to scale further and get the right data from your ads that you need to scale. So just go over a couple of quick tips. If you are currently running ads or trying to run ads on Facebook, make sure that you do the following with this new iOS 14 update. And that number one thing is verify your domain so you can stay compliant on Facebook. Number two, get your business manager verified, which means you need to have two-factor authentication on all your business managers. Number two is add a backup admin. I would add as many people as possible within your family that have clean Facebook accounts and you know have been a user for a while and they're very aged accounts. And the third piece is, you know, having an app. So if you go to developers.facebook.com, you can actually create an app and you don't really have to attach it to anything, but once you create an app within Facebook, you automatically can then add that app ID to your business manager in the business settings. And once you add an app in your business manager, you will then be prompted to be able to verify your business. And if you've had a business for more than two years now, like mine, my agency is Wojo Media, we actually had our address auto-populated inside Facebook's platform because of the Facebook page that we've had that is aged and that's been up for a while. So my verification process was very simple. I put in my info, I put in my address, and Facebook automatically generated that you know business from Google Maps, Google My Business, and the Facebook page in general. And it then saved me a lot of time because then I was able to verify my business with just a you know pin code from Facebook itself. And then within 24 hours, I got that verified green check. And now, you know, I have a very compliant business manager. I'm able to onboard clients, you know, very effectively and keep everyone compliant. And the last tip is if you're an agency owner right now that is very scared to add certain people to your BM and you're scared to add ad accounts, stop requesting access to ad accounts. You should be doing the partners, okay? Ask a partner to share their assets. When you're in your business settings, you know, if you want access to somebody else's ad account and you have a clean account, you wanna just go to business settings, users, partners, and then where it says add, click add, ask a partner to share their assets. Put in their business manager ID, put in their name, their email, and you're the media or agency, and then the business's role is the brand or business, and then just go through the prompts request access and then that client can then give you access to their page, ad account pixels, Instagram accounts, and all the assets that you need to run ads. And don't really get worried guys, if you guys are running a good offer on Facebook and you're getting, you have good engagement, you have a good amount of data on your pixel, you're gonna be just fine. Just watch your ads more closely. Use bigger lookalike audiences to surpass the iOS 14 update and be able to acquire more data faster. You will have to spend more money. Your CPAs or cost per acquisition, your cost per purchase, may rise about 20 to 30%, depending on how good you are at data collection and obviously scaling out what works. And always make sure you're not overlapping your audiences and overspending so that you can't scale as further with the same budget. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below if you're having issues with the new iOS 14 update and you're a Facebook advertiser. Make sure you subscribe, follow for more Facebook ad tips, and I'll see you guys in the next video.